Hello, this is Tom from Never Center. Uh, I'm going to show you a preview in this video of some of the really big animation changes, um, advancements that have come in Pixel Mesh. This will be version 1.1.00. Um, and it's going to be, uh, first we need to do a little bit more beta testing on it, but after that uh, we will be releasing it to everybody who's already purchased Pixel Mesh. Um, so let me just jump right in and show you. This is a very animation focused uh, update. Um, let me just create a new project here. Now you'll notice the animation tab looks quite a bit different from how it uh, does in existing Pixel Mesh. And we've moved to a keyframe system that allows you to just set certain keyframes and it'll interpolate, but also to do image keyframes where you can do frame by frame animation in a much easier way than you can do in uh, previous versions of Pixel Mesh. So let me just start by just showing um, transform keyframes. So say I make, let's just do a simple kind of a bouncy ball animation. Uh, so before in Pixel Mesh, you'd have to basically set every frame and move this to where you'd want it to be for each frame individually. But with um, Pixel Mesh version 1.1.0. Uh, you can see as I've uh, added keyframes, and then when I moved this in this keyframe, it automatically turned the transform on for that keyframe. So any of these keyframes that have a dot in them over here, or any of these frames that have a dot, are a keyframe. And you can keyframe transforms, you can keyframe visibility, and then the image keyframe or image keyframe, I'll show you that in a second. That's how you do the frame by frame animation. So you can see um, this is, it automatically interpolated these in between frames and uh, maybe I add several more frames and make this bounce back up here. And you can see I've got this bouncy ball animation. I only had to position it in three spots. And even, <clears throat> let me just um, transform keyframe both of these on either side of that bounce and then let's just make it squish a little bit here at that bounce. So there, squish and bounce on. And then um, I can just uh, add frames in between each of these and it will automatically interpolate between that to make it a longer animation to make this smoother. And uh, another thing that I'll show you real quick, and let me just put some layer effects on this just to uh, emphasize Pixel Mash's dynamic layer effects. Um, and how handy those are. We can do a um, outline. Let's also put on auto shade just to give us some automatic shading. There we go. So super easy to make that animation with these new transform keyframes. Um, another thing that we've got is this this preview window that we've made um, at the request of several people and you can resize this and position it wherever. Um, and this will basically just play your animation uh, and I can pause it by pressing this play button and then it will pause it on whatever frame is shown here. And if I advance the frame in the main window, it will uh, advance the frame in, in this animation preview. Or I can just keep it playing. And then as I um, come in here and I'm editing, uh, let me go to a keyframe. So say I make it really big in this keyframe. Maybe we'll make it look like it's bouncing from the foreground to the background and so on this keyframe I'll make it small. You can see that that all updates in real time while it's showing in this animation preview window. In this preview window uh, you can see these buttons. I can make it uh, do 1x so it will do it at the exact pixel resolution of this or 2x to double that just to make it standard reference. Um, I can still do things like change the resolution of uh, my whole document and you can see how that um, updates in here. So if I make it a really small resolution, it will make it a really tiny animation there. Um, so it's really handy and you can <clears throat> mix all of these. Um, you know, before in Pixel Mash, you had to have either everything was animating transforms or everything was animating visibility. And now it's per layer and per frame for whatever you turn these keyframes on for. So um, let me now show you about keyframing images. So actually, I'm just going to delete all these down to just one frame. 
And um, let me just, well, we'll keep these layer effects on. Let me just uh, come in here. I'm just going to delete this. And let's paint a new frame. Um, so I'm just going to do, let's do the number one. This is frame number one. Uh, let me set this back to 64 by 64 and adjust the lighting a little bit. All right, so um, now if I um, add a new frame and I say image keyframe, now it copied that image, so it's still showing the one for both of these. But you can see if I like erase this and draw in, say, a two. Now when I go to frame one, it's the one, and two is the two. And it can be kind of a pain, actually, to have to click image keyframe for all of them. So we made this shortcut, which is to image keyframe all, and you can see that it um, shades out the image keyframe thing. So now for every frame I add, it will be a new image keyframe. I can just keep going here. And when I go to the preview window, you can see it's doing my frame by frame animation there. I can change the duration of the frames. Let's make these last half a second each, and you can see that that slows that down. Um, another thing that we've worked on with this is um, onion skinning. And we had onion skinning before, but um, for one thing, we've dramatically increased the speed with it. Before, it would slow it down quite a bit if you were animating with onion skinning on, but this lets you see the next and previous frame. And we also added in this colorized onion skin so that the next frame will appear in green and the previous one will appear in red. And if I do transforms on these, it can be a little bit clearer what's going on here. So let me put a transform keyframe on four so these will move across the screen as they're animating. One, two, three, four. All right, and you can see that again updating in real time in the preview window here. And again, if I go and I adjust my layer effects, those all update. Um, I can change the outline color or whatever. I can come and change the background color of the whole document, and that will update in there. Uh, so some really cool stuff, and especially for people who are actually good at frame-by-frame -frame animation. That's why um, for this beta testing, we would love to have uh, any of you pixel artists email us if you'd like to get on the early beta to test this and help us refine these features before we release it and make sure everything is working great and that we haven't left anything out. Um, so uh, just email us. You'll see the email address in the description of this video and send us some of your work if you'd like to beta test this. And for the rest of you, we will get this out as, as soon as possible, ASAP. Um, thanks for watching. We look forward to seeing what you guys make with this. Thanks.